Well, developing now, changes could be coming to the National Zoo. There is a proposal to close down all but four entrances. Annalisa Gale is at the zoo tonight with details on this. Annalisa. Nancy, right now the National Zoo is the only Smithsonian public venue that does not require security screening for things like backpacks when you're walking. Visitors uh, usually are checked at most Smithsonian venues, but they'd like to see that change along with a few other things. With plenty to see, the National Zoo attracts tens of thousands of people each month. We've been in another zoo in North Carolina, but it's nothing to look like this. Now the Smithsonian Institution wants it to be more secure. I mean, I can understand for security purposes. The zoo currently has 13 entrances for pedestrians, and the goal is to reduce that number to three in the near future. Under the proposal, the Connecticut Avenue entry, the bus lot drop-off section, and the lower zoo would remain open. What are your thoughts on that? Would that be helpful? I would think in this day and age, limiting it to only three might be a good idea. However, I don't know how it would impact the community. Kind of indifferent. I think I mostly go through certain ones on the side, the one on the bottom, the one on the top. I don't think I've used all 13. Would you feel more secure? No, because I think if someone has bad intentions, they're going to find a way. At their upcoming meeting, the zoo will also discuss fencing that could be used to improve safety. And at this point, the security checkpoint is one of the main focuses for the zoo. They say they will require federal funding for that. So at this point, it has not been approved. Live from the National Zoo, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News. Annalisa, thank